Junkies, welcome back to my channel, this is Sal speaking and today I would like to make a very quick shout out to my friend Michele Bosch, he's a very great artist, he's a painter, he's done the painting behind me, it's just an amazing, amazing portrait of Bobby Timmons, an amazing jazz pianist, so that's really, really cool, check out his channel, he can make anything, he can paint anything, he's very talented. But let's get back to the topic. The other day I was surfing the net and I randomly ran into the Disney movies channel here on YouTube. And to my astonishment, I found out that the recipe was totally wrong, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. So today I'm very excited to show you the real recipe on how to make the real spaghetti and meatballs that you see in the famous movie Lady and Tramp. I wanna thank my patrons for their amazing support. Without you guys, all of this couldn't be possible. So if you want, please support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. But now, let's get back to my kitchen. Uh, the Lady and the Tramp spaghetti and meatball scene. Well, first of all, this is not noodles. It's just spaghetti. Spaghetti. Oh, come on. Put oil in the pan and heat it up on medium-high heat. Then onions. Oh. Greg seed oil. I can't hear this. Come on, I don't wanna... Greg seed oil, come on. Extra virgin olive oil is way better than that. Way better. Oregano, no, 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 no. You can put it on top of a pizza, yes, but not for this recipe. And even bay leaves. Bay leaves are great. They, they give a great taste to potatoes. If, you, if you're baking potatoes, yeah, use bay leaves, fantastic. Even for making like some meat rolls, you can use uh, bay leaves for, for a barbecue, for example, and so forth, but not for this recipe. So guys, don't use bay leaves. She's wrong. Okay, so the onions have been cooking. It smells so good in here. Anything. But you, you're saying the onions have been cooking. How? You're not showing me. You're not showing us how the heck do you cook onions. The onions have been going out for a walk. Huh, fantastic. It doesn't make sense to me, so. Up and down, and grate it like that. Perfect. And I'm gonna add in bread. We're just gonna throw- Onions in plastic. Fantastic. No, I'm joking apart. Uh, these onions are horrible, you know. Not organic, for sure. Make sure that you use good bread. Maybe a good bread to use will be a baguette, you know, the inside of a baguette. Okay. I have got some parsley over here, which I'm gonna throw in. Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna add in the egg. Everything's gone. I wanna also say some positive things. I really like the choice of parsley, and I didn't put it on purpose on my recipe. But then again, why don't you mix everything together? You know, you'll see in my recipe that I mix all of the ingredients together. There's no point in mixing one ingredient at a time and then the other one uh, later. You know, you need to mix all of these ingredients together, you know? Roll the meatballs. You don't want to like pack them together. You want them to be sort of loose, like that. We can... Also, I want to congratulate you guys for using your hands. Your hands are very useful. This is a good way to do it. It's the best way to do it. You know, machines will never substitute our hands. As bizarre as it may sound, oftentimes people cook the same recipe with the same ingredients and the result is totally different. Probably because they're using different hands. Put it on this tray okay. right over there. All right. Do that. What are you doing? No! Oh, if you wouldn't mind placing the meatballs into our sauce. Not at all. That has been simmering away. Yes. Oh, it's the best part, in my opinion. So Why do you grill the meatballs in the first place? It's a wrong thing to do it. You cook it together with the tomato sauce. There's no point in doing that. Come on. And if you learn to cook it well, you may end up kissing your girl. So we're gonna pour this okay. into our pot. All right. That looks amazing. Yeah. You can tell the pasta has been sitting there for a long time. It appears to me to be cold and sticky. That's not a good way to cook your food. Good. Okay. You can set it down here. That bread is not. Uh, doesn't look uh, organic at all. Uh, make sure that you cook things in the right time so that they will be ready at the same time. It, it is just a matter of calculating the right time. It's not that hard after all, come on. Well, I'm so sorry, but it doesn't look good to me. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, first thing first, we need to bring the water to 
boil because we need to boil this potato, we need to make it soft. Because we need to use this in the making of the meatballs. Okay, we need at least 400 grams of minced meat or hamburger meat, whatever you call it. This is the first step. First of all, I put 40 grams of breadcrumbs here. I'm gonna put some milk to make it softer, okay? Okay, we need one egg. Okay, here we are. I need to cut one onion. My friend is making fun of me. She's saying that I should go to Master Chef UK because I'm not very well organized when I cook. Okay, let's uh, dry up our bread. Now let's add a little bit of pepper. Let's add a little bit of timo, timo leaves. Let's add our onions. Let's add our cheese, our parmesan cheese, parmigiano cheese. Okay, I decided just to add a little bit of this, just make sure you boil your potato in the right way. So we, here we are, we need to put some olive oil to make our saute. Once the onions are a little bit kind of gold, we need to add the tomato sauce. We're gonna add some tomato sauce to this. So we're gonna add tomato sauce. Ooh. For this recipe, I'm using two types of tomato sauce. One is just a simple one. This one is cherry tomatoes, just to make it a little bit sweeter. Perfect. Just put it in your hand and do like this. Okay, here we are. So we're gonna put our meatballs inside.
Okay. That's it! Mix it gently because otherwise you're gonna break it and we, we don't want this to happen. Okay, the time has come, let's put our pasta in. Okay, here we are, the time has come. Okay, I'm gonna try this beauty, the Lady M. Tramp pasta. The Lady and Trump pasta recipe. Very excited. Very romantic. Very good stuff. Well, thank you for watching. And remember, if you feel sad, you better call sad. Bye.